Hi guys, Son the Radius here, back again for another video on the channel. In this one today then, I'll be discussing my thoughts and feelings towards Jamie Patterson and the outgoing situation resolving him and the club. So Jamie Patterson then, 30 years old, of course, has had a fantastic season so far at Swansea City in 22 appearances, 8 goals, 4 assists, a very, very good return from Patterson this season. When we originally did sign him, you know, I was a little bit, you know, worried that the signing wasn't great, you know, it was released at Bristol City last season, wasn't great there, you know, it was at Northern Forest derby in the past, not great there, so, you know, I thought his career was kind of fizzling out 30 years old, will he have the motivation, but he's proved me wrong so far this season, been fantastic, especially with Joel Perot, you know, both two have been frightening as a partnership this season, but... He has missed the last two games against Southampton and Huddersfield respectively and I quote, did not feel in the right frame of mind to play football due to a contract. Now, I'm not sure if this is an agent move or a Jamie Patterson move. Of course, you've got other clubs sniffing around him like Queen's Park Rangers, West Brom, Charlie and has that turned Jamie Patterson's head. Bring the short... Basically, Patterson's refusing to play for the club because he's not getting a pay rise. It's as simple as that. And the most frustrating thing for me is, you know, some City fans have talked to Jamie Patterson as one of their own. You know, he's come in from Bristol City who don't really like, so, you know, we've kind of thrown that out the window, got the chance to go in several times about Patterson, screwing the South Wales derby, supporting him, you know, supporting his mother on Twitter, you know, just, Swans fans really love Patterson this season, really like Patterson's mother on Twitter as well, she seemed like a lovely lady, and, you know, Patterson just, you know, treats Swans fans like that, fair enough if you want to, you know, have issues with your contract, fair enough, but don't harm the fans, you know, the fans pay your wages essentially, mate. At the end of the day, there was 1,100 jacks plus at Huddersfield on the weekend. You should have been playing that game, Patterson. You should have been playing. There's a way to go about wanting a new contract or wanting more wages, but you still got to do your job. you still got to play football. you still got to respect the fans, and you still got to try and get the team three points. And, you know, it's an interesting one. Apparently, he's returning to training today with the under-23s. For me, keep him there. Rot him away. Apparently, we have agreed a new deal with him because we extended the contract as when we did originally sign Patterson. There was a one-year contract extension after 25 games. Both parties, Swansea City and Patterson's agent, brought those together at 22 games. So, apparently, he has signed a new deal until next summer. So, it's not confirmed, but I am pretty sure his contract does run out next summer. But if he, even if it does run out next summer or this summer, raw him in the reserve. I don't Swansea pass on the Swansea shirt again. You know, at the end of the day, no player is bigger than the club. And you just can't treat the fans like this. You know, he's just throwing it back in our face. You can't. It's, it's just a joke. You know, it's just a typical modern-day footballer who thinks they're bigger than they are. At the end of the day, Jamie, mate, in the summer, no one wanted you. Middlesbrough turned you down after a week's trial because you are crap at Middlesbrough. No one wanted you. Russell Martin came in, gave you a chance. You've done very, very well on your chance. But now you're just throwing it back in your face. You know, what is it with footballers these days that they don't understand respect? Don't understand, you know, you've got to play for the fans. You've got to respect the fans. Foot more footballers don't care. It's just a real shame because Patterson, he could have had a good legacy at the Swan School in the South Wales derby. He literally could have been a hero. And at the end of the day, there's only one South Wales legend in the South Wales derby now, and that's Joel Perot Bidwell. Great player, you know, he left respectively. He had a little bit of a contract issue, carried on playing. So, when Matt Grimes and Summer Fulham really wanted him, Grimes probably wanted to go. He kept on playing. Patterson, oh, I don't want to play, I want more money, I want more money, I'm, I'm refusing to play, I'm not in the right frame of mind. Shut up. It is just pathetic. It honestly is. You see, nurses, doctors, bus drivers, train drivers, you know, important key workers, they're probably annoyed about their paycheck, minimum wage, or barely above minimum wage. You don't see them, you know, going on strike in big, big situations. Situation like COVID. In person, you're 30 years old, you're a grown man, a grown adult, you're at the end of your footballing career and all you want is a bit of dosh. <laughs> Get out, honestly. Go to West Brom, go to QPR, go to Cardiff, I, I, we don't care anymore. Because I'll tell you what, Patterson, when you leave Swan City, which hopefully will be soon, your career's finished because there won't be another club like Swan City, a system which fits around you like perfectly, like our system does. If you go to West Brom, you're going to get chucked on the wing, chucked on the bench, and, you know, we've seen it so many times in the past four Swan City players leaving the club and lock of their careers. You know, they just go downhill. So, Patterson, 
You've ruined it for yourself now, mate, because we don't want you to stay. We all want you to go now. At the end of the day, if you apologise, I'm not forgiving you. I couldn't give a monkeys about you anymore, mate. We're apparently signing a Wolf from Borussia Mönchengladbach. He'll come in for six months, and I guarantee he won't kick up a fuss. We've got Michael Obafemi, who hardly had a kick this season starting. You don't see him kicking up a fuss that much. Well, he has a little bit, but not as much as Patterson. Perot, he's not on a big wage. Look how good he's done this season. And he's not kicking up a fuss. And he's younger than you by like eight years. So, honestly, it's absolutely pathetic from Jamie Patterson. Let me know down below, guys, what you think of this whole situation. Honestly, I expect a better from Patterson. The one person in the club who at least expect to cause a fuss and refuse to play, it'd probably be Patterson. And, you know, just makes me look like an idiot. And at the end of the day, I'm just shocked by this. And the situation keeps getting worse. And for me, let's just get rid of him out of the club. If no club offers the money we want, chuck me in the 23s. At the end of the day, I don't really care about Patterson. If he doesn't care about us, why should we care about what we do to him? So chuck me in the 23s until a club pays the money we want. Uh, the club are in a strong position, in my opinion. You know, if Parson wants to cause a fuss, we're not releasing you, mate. We're not paying to release you. You could sit in the under 23s. So, Parson, you've played yourself because you're not one device on City fans. And if no club pays the money we want for you, which, let's be fair, should be a decent amount after the season you've had, yeah. Enjoy staying in your house 24 hours, mate, because you will aren't getting on the football pitch anytime soon as on City. And not the fact that you don't want to play, it's because Russell Martin doesn't want you, neither does the third team players, and neither do the fans. So, Patterson, well done, mate, and ruining your legacy at Swansea City. You know, well done. And unfortunately, guys, that is the modern day footballer. You won't see many footballers these days just care about the fans. It's all about the money. We've seen we see it in the Premier League now with Newcastle again taking over Man City, Chelsea. Football, it's all about the dosh at the end of the day, and you know, slowly the championship, League One, League Two. We'll be turned that way as well. So thanks guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe. Plenty more content coming up as well. A lot more transfer news results in Swansea City with Rufus Williams set to return to Liverpool and uh, Wolf from Borussia Mönchengladbach said to come in. So we'll do videos on those when the news does get revealed. But yeah, I thought I had to do a video today. You know, it's been frustrating me the last couple of days this Patterson situation. And yeah, I just had to get my frustration off my chest and you know, I, I, I may not have spoke facts, I may have been wrong in a few bits in this video, but one thing I can say is I spoke 100% my honest opinion. My honest opinion is Jamie Patterson can rot in hell. I don't care about him. You know, you treat the Swans fans like that, mate. We can treat you exactly the same. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a good day, apart from Jamie Patterson.